Have Americans stopped caring about obesity? Obesity is a global problem but more than 70 of the American population is now considered overweight obese. Why is it that so many don't care about their own body health and how difficult life becomes when it even starts affecting your walk cycle? I've heard people say that when they leave the country, they lose weight even if they don't change their eating habits. I think there's really something to be said for how we process food and also how much soy and corn filler is in everything. It's really hard to get your weight under control in this country. When I was in high school I was obese. Then I moved to Japan as an exchange student and dropped 80 pounds in a year. Once I came back to the US I really tried to keep the weight off. And I succeeded for about five years. Then finally after five years the weight came back on. All 80 pounds of it. And now I'm struggling to lose it again. I don't know where you got the impression that nobody cares. Are you talking about media cycles or what? Having said that, the media, food producers, medicine and pharma are all connected through government. Follow the money and you'll see that a fit. Healthy population is bad for all the businesses that I listed above. It really staggers me how normalized sugar is in the West that we give it to our children every day. It is an addictive drug with zero nutritional benefit. Until my 20s or 30s I was not even fully aware of how bad that stuff is. Says a lot. What do you mean? We won the war on obesity when we stopped McDonald's from making supersized meals for 0.65 C extra. Sugar is the key here. Sugar is meant for the slaves to work longer hours. The human animal is actually pretty lazy in its natural state. You can't labor that much. For you lack energy. Medieval peasants worked way less than people today as an example. Lions sleep up to 18 hours a day. Most animals preserve energy whenever they can. Sugar started as a sweater for the elite yet made its way as the engine of industrialization in the UK. Long working hours were made possible with sugar. Industrial workers ate insane amounts of sugar. That tradition was taken to the extreme in the US. Europeans actually have decent regulations around food. Their food is so much healthier. The most popular drug in America is a weight loss drug. They are about to start making them into a whole class of drugs. People definitely still care. It's just that people are realizing that feeling ashamed isn't the answer. And are pushing back on people who believe that shaming people for being obese will make them lose weight. There is also a huge acceptance movement regarding obesity. My sister is obese and is reading this book by some author who basically tells obese people that it's fine and the rest of us need to back off and mind our business about their weight. Here in American we have no idea what an actual portion size is. Why would I want to extend my life in America? I have a master's degree. Great job and can't even afford a decent house or new SUV. We're just gonna work until we die anyway so why try to live longer? Plenty of people are. And plenty that aren't can't afford to take care of their health past the bare minimum. It's a lot easier to eat healthy and exercise when one isn't working 50, 60 hours a week and or can't afford the more convenient healthy food options. Then there's the food desert problem. The active anti-health counterculture. Etc. Not even joking there's like a significant portion of people who think not eating red meat for every meal is un-American. Shit's weird. Because healthy food is expensive. The average American can't afford it. And frankly subconsciously wishes for death. Cheese stuffed. Deep fried delicious death.
We can't afford housing. We can't afford healthy food. Oh, our health care. So we've collectively decided to overburden all the systems with our bloated, undead meat suits until our society collapses under the weight of what they made us. I was overweight for the past decade. Last November, I changed my diet, greatly reducing caloric intake. Today I'm 25 pounds, 11.33 kilograms lighter and now have a healthy BMI and I feel so much better. I would say some level of big is normalized now but not obese. I think what most people don't realize is that the car-dependent suburbs have basically zero energy for walking needed. Working in an office and living in a suburb I was tracking my steps and it was near 2,000 a day. If that person moves to NYC that becomes 10,000 while trying to save their feet. We have actively and are actively developing medications that cause weight loss. We have developed surgical procedures to cause weight loss. The idea that we don't care is not based in reality. Don't care or can't escape a cycle. High caloric content, particularly high added sugar content is very normalized in America. Sure, you can exercise and cook your own food but those both require time and many people are working their ass off by the hour to pay basic bills. And unfortunately, cheaper food tends to be of lower quality and have more sugar. Add in food being a basic comfort in a society that is economically and socially depressed. You have a vicious cycle. Don't care. Not so much that. As hard to break the cycle. It's alarming when you see trends like fat shaming plus-sized models on magazine covers, etc. We all need to be compassionate. We shouldn't judge and criticize people for being overweight. But we should not normalize it or even praise it. It's unhealthy. Obesity has not only become normalized. It is often celebrated. When I talk to young women trying to gain 50 pounds so they can look thick I just have to shake my head. Eat better healthier. Consult the internet if something is really healthy or not. Discipline lies in staying under daily caloric intake. Same reasons Europeans are becoming overweight and obese at staggering rates. There's a bunch of factors that work together to negatively affect health. Our food contains processed industrial waste that the FDA has no problem with and every time you Try to eat healthy it's covered in salt. You go to Europe for a week and you lose 10 pounds eating their food. This is great post the government is so concerned about everything and our well-being but I don't. Hear boo from them about the absolute garbage fast food and crap people are paying to eat each day. Think of every rural town in America. Or at least in Virginia. There's never a good supermarket. There's always Dollar General or Dollar Tree. That's where the local town gets the groceries, which only have terrible food in them. I really think that these corporations are sadly taking advantage of a disproportioned population of America. It's worse than not caring anymore. Now there is a body positivity movement and healthy at any size insanity. So not only have the obese stopped caring, they are proud of their obesity. Define Americans. I assure you the obese people care. But sadly for them the people who sell food in this country also do. And they exploit every avenue they can to get you addicted to their wear. Or rely on it for stress relief. Then. You get bombarded by moralizing voices of social media eating disordered fitness coaches and as a result for many people death just sort of slowly creeps in. Yeah. A lot of them act like it's normal to be big boned and fat parents want their kids to be lost. Like them so they feed them like cattle.